Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to do a little Tuesday ramble. Again, it's probably not going to be a long one. I do apologise. My voice is a bit better, but it's still not great, and occasionally I just lose it completely, which it's not ideal for recording videos because uh, it means I can't say anything. Funnily enough, that's how that usually works. Anyway, we actually do have a, a preview this week to talk about, but there's only one thing on it. But it is something that I've been quite looking forward to, so next weekend we'll be able to pre-order this Cursed City. It's happening. It's actually happening, to be honest, sooner than I thought it would. I thought we'd have a bit more a bit more time before it showed up, but no, it's on its way. And I can't help but be excited by this. I mean, you know at this point, we've covered Cursed City fairly extensively, and I've just been massively looking forward to it. The models just really stand out to me. It grabs my interest in a way that Blackstone Fortress didn't, um, which in a way is kind of weird because Blackstone Fortress, you'd have thought, given it's 40k based, it would be it would be the go-to. But there's just something about Cursed City that has has grabbed me in uh, in a way that Blackstone Fortress didn't, and I'm really looking forward to it. That being said. I'm not going to be too upset if I don't get hold of it on day one. If it in any way follows the way Blackstone Fortress worked, we've got like, I think Blackstone Fortress was released, what, like two years ago? So we've got a couple of years of the base game being available with expansion showing up every few months. And I would expect this to follow exactly the same formula. I don't think this is going to be another like piety and pain situation whereby, oh, it's sold out. You've missed it. We're not making any more. I, I assume this will continue to be available. I mean, Blackstone Fortress is still for sale now. So you can go to the Games Workshop site and you can pick it up literally as we speak. So I would expect the Curse City to be exactly the same as that. So no big deal if we don't get hold of it straight off the bat. It would be nice. It would be nice to, to get in early, get a start on some of the some of the models in there. Because, well, I'm looking forward to painting all of them. Going to have to mess with a few, obviously. I don't know why you would expect anything else from me, but there's still going to be things I, I, I mess with because... I want to. I want to make them. Just there's just a few things I want to change. Things like the zombies being a little bit different. Maybe taking off a few of the gravestones. Maybe a bit of reposing here and there because it's me and I can't help myself. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I will say that the price is the one thing that I'm not particularly chuffed with when it comes to this. Uh, the actual the actual set and everything in it. Fine. Looking forward to it a lot. But the price. From what I've been reading and from what I've been told is 125 quid. Now that of course is 30 quid more than Blackstone Fortress. And I would say these two boxes are very much equivalent, if not pretty much the same in terms of content. I think so Blackstone Fortress is what, 44 models? 44 push fit Citadel miniatures, also one to five players. Um, whereas Curse City is uh is is one to three. Although I think Curse City has four more models, but four more models does not 30 quid more uh, a, a box make. What a weird sentence. It shouldn't cost 30 quid more for like four more models is what I was trying to get at. What a weird way to say that. But to be honest, at this stage, if you are a, 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 a customer of Games Workshop, a supporter of, you know, if you buy their stuff, price increases are unfortunately just a fact of life it, it's gonna happen it's up to you to decide whether or not you feel that you are comfortable with that increase i'll be honest if i was buying this if there was no way to buy this like outside of buying from games workshop i might not even go for it purely because that is a fairly hefty increase but there's nothing that i've seen that suggests that third-party retailers won't be selling this and as such it, it's back down to that more palatable level before we before we talk about that a little bit more, let's just have a quick a quick glance and make sure we're not missing anything else. Oh, sorry, sixty Citadel miniatures. Oh, mine. Yeah, no, it's still nah. Mm. <laughs> See, that's in a way that's kind of money to ever so st oh, not a huge amount. Let's be honest, not a huge amount because an extra thirty quid is still a lot. But a sixteen model increase is actually fairly significant given the size of Blackstone Fortress to begin with. There is there's. There's a bit more going on here than there is in, in the previous version. Still don't think it warrants a £30 increase, but given the increase in the number of models, I, I would expect there to be a price increase anyway. But yeah, 30 still feels a little much. When it comes to things like the size of the books, for instance. So uh, we've got 44 push fits, 35 hostiles, 16 page rule booklet, 16 page combat, 24 page, 24 page, 60, so a bunch of different, bunch of different booklets, 
With this, you've got the rule book and the quest book. You've got the War Scrolls book, counter tokens, dice, all the different boards. Yeah, I, secret envelope. Wait, what's in the secret envelope? Don't, I know, don't, look. As I said it out loud, all right, as I said what's in the secret envelope out loud, I knew that that was a silly question because it's called a secret envelope. So there's going <laughs> to, all right, just don't, don't, let's not talk about that. What else have we got? We've got the book as well. The book looks fine. I'm actually quite looking forward to reading that. The limited edition one looks oh, oh, looks okay. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever seen. It's a cool design, but it's not... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not grabbed me all that much. And then, of course, we've got the usual, the usual Twitch stuff, uh, with Friday being off because it's bank holiday. So uh, nothing on Friday, nothing on Monday. Nice. Well, for most people. Anyway, I've just remembered I still haven't watched the thing where uh, Nick goes through how to play it. I should probably do that. But yeah, the price increase, as I say, it is a fact of life with Games Workshop at this point. Even things that are old, really old, see price increases. Things like Land Raiders that have gone up to like 50 to... Is it 55 quid for some of them? Um, even though they're ancient kits, the increase in price on things like Lehman Rust tanks, all of that stuff. I mean, it's just one of those things that happens. And it's one of those things where... I think now, on an individual basis, you need to look at what the product is and go, D can I justify this? Am I going to use it? Am I actually going to do anything with it? Or do I skip this one? With Curse City, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to, at the very least, enjoy the models in there. It's a decent model count, at the very least, for how much you're paying. When you look at the Games Workshop kind of ecosystem as a whole, again, I'm not comparing outside of Games Workshop. I'm comparing internally to Games Workshop because that is the company that I, I you know, have the most stuff with, evidently. Um, and I'm, you know, still building armies out of their products. So in terms of looking at other things they make, it's, it's a lot more reasonable than if you were to buy a bunch of stuff separately. I think it's probably an upward trend. It's not quite enough to squash my excitement for it, but I am also being realistic in terms of when I might be able to get hold of this. Because <laughs> I... Let's face it, it seems to have really captured quite a few people. I'm not the only one who's who's gone a bit mental over Cursed City. It seems to be a very good idea on Games Workshop's part, to be honest. I mean, I know Blackstone Fortress was popular, but it feels like I'm seeing far more buzz and excitement around Cursed City than I did around Blackstone Fortress. Although, that could be down to the fact that I'm, I'm, more, I'm more seeking it out on this particular occasion. So, that could well decide that. But, yeah, I can't help but be... Can't help but be excited for it. Can't help but look forward to it, despite the extra cost. Anyway, what do you reckon? Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to get hold of it? Are you going to grab it? Are you going to, like, rush for the pre-order? Are you just going to chill out, just get it when it's available, not put too much pressure on yourself as to uh, as to whether you grab it first thing on the day or whether you just wait for it to come back in stock? Let me know whether you're going to be grabbing it in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click it if you don't want to. And uh, as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.